let's talk about the use of visual organizers in the design process. These are very helpful in graphically depicting the design of the project. Some traditional examples that are used quite often are flowcharts and UML diagrams. Let's look at some examples. All flowcharts use geometric shapes and arrows to help show the flow of a program design. In this example, you can see several different shapes connected by arrows. The most significant shape is the decision diamond, which always has a yes or no option to take based on a Boolean or true-false condition. This one is checking to see if the value M is equal to the value N. If yes, it flows downward to the end of the process. If no, it branches off and repeats a certain aspect of the program. This next one is fairly easy to see. Stop the video for a moment and study it carefully. This flowchart is showing the decision process of whether to go play golf or stay at home based on the weather. This next one is showing three different possibilities for paying your taxes. Another useful object-oriented diagram is shown here using the Unified Modeling Language, or UML for short. It visualizes an object definition or class, showing the data for an object as well as the processes that go along with that data. This one shows a student object with various aspects that might be associated with a student. Pause the video on this example as well as the next two and study each one carefully. As you can see for this student object, there are three pieces of data, an ID, a name, and a year, probably their current year in school. The processes include two constructors, we'll talk about those later, as well as two processes that get and set the year field. These are called accessor methods, which we'll talk about in a later lesson. This next diagram shows a bank account class definition. You can see a basic bank account object diagram at the top and two more specialized accounts below. This is a good example of inheritance, where the checking account and the savings account objects inherit everything about the main bank account and then add more special features of their own. In this next example, you can see what looks like a database of table objects, all interrelated, again, with data and processes that work on that data. This is a great example of composition, which is similar to inheritance, and we'll talk in more detail about it later on. Both of these visual organizing styles help the design team better see the characteristics and flow of the project, and more often than not, make for a more successful and effective design in the end. In summary, you need to be aware of and be able to use these diagrams, insisting that your students use them when designing their programs in class.